All right, welcome back to the Ultra Chen TV show, which we still call the Tuesday show lovingly. So, yeah, it's not officially the Tuesday show, right? Is that official? Uh, I think we, I mean, I think we just want to call it the Ultra Chen TV show right now, but let's do it. It's the Ultra Chen TV show. Welcome to the second part of it. We're going to okay. be talking about Combo Breaker, which happened just this past weekend in the Chicago area. Yeah. At Pheasant Run Resort. Mm -hmm. Lots of interesting topics related to Combo Breaker as well. For sure, for sure. But let's talk about our initial impressions first. Okay, I really liked Chicago pizza. Did you? Yes. <laughs> so you've never, had, you? you've never had Chicago deep dish? No, I have never had Chicago deep dish. I will admit, though, that I did like the meat lovers more than the cheese pizza. Really? Just because... Honestly, there was so much dough and so much cheese on a Chicago pizza that the meat kind of helped it. The, yeah. thing, the thing with ordering cheese as a Chicago pizza uh -huh. is that that doesn't mean it comes, like, don't put any crap on it. It means they fill it with cheese. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's not, uh -huh. it's, it's like ordering super extra cheese. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, there was so much I guess I should have explained that to you. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this isn't going to be like a pizza with just cheese. It's going to be like, bam. Yeah. Like that much cheese. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, now I haven't had a. I don't know if I've had genuine New York pizza before. I've had New York style pizza. Um, I'm guessing I will probably like New York style pizza. New York pizza is legit. More. Elephant ear pizza is what I call it. It's elephant ear pizza. Yeah. Uh, just mostly because I, I still kind of like the standard pizza ish thing, you know. Yeah. But as a unique thing and as something that is very tasty and that makes you full beyond your wildest imagination. Besides me. Yeah, oh, besides you, yeah. I how, did. How was your max yeah. slice count? On what? On Chicago Deep Dish. What's your max slice count? Oh, dude, I only had four. Count? I legit okay. only had four. I can't, I couldn't do any more. Dude, you got the four? Yeah, dude. But That's once like I, 10 pounds of food. But once I eat it, I don't eat anything for the rest of the day. Dude, because I'm I, legit, yeah. I just store it. It's like camel hump food. I'm like, bow, eight. I can go run it like a marathon and I'm still good. You would die. <laughs> <laughs> you would not survive. Guys. Or you, you'd be that guy. Like this happens every marathon. Oh, the guy that vomits. The guy it? that the guy that diarrhea is in his pants. And oh he keeps my! God. That happens every marathon. Are you serious? Look, I I'm not believing you in it. Every marathon, totally the guy serious. diarrhea himself. So you keep track of this. Is that what you're oh, telling I'm, me? No, I'm, I am good. I'm very close with a bunch of runners, uh -huh. including my GF. And her, Guardian Force? Yes. Dude, the Guardian Force is a... That's right. Dude, he has a Guardian Force. That's, yeah, that's right. What? That's right. And their, their like, friend group is like marathon runners, more or less. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've been talking about this, how every race, there's somebody who takes a dump and just can't hold it, but just powers through and just finishes the race anyway. It is never that serious. There are people, Someone said that it's called runner's diarrhea. Yeah, it's it's a thing. It's a, it's real. And they just... And there are, there are people also... Who run and it kind of hurts their nipples and their nipples start bleeding by the end of the race. What? Their, their shirts like, you know. It's, oh, it's the friction. It's friction for like the whole race, right? For like two hours, it's going like this, and some people's nipples can't withstand that. These are real things, Dude, James. This is not something I like. Before I was like, maybe I should try running a. I don't ever want to run a marathon. Like, man, just run without a shirt on. Dude, what? I do yeah. that all the people, time. People's toenails fall off entirely. Yeah, you do that. They're totally gone. I would. I do. You could. You could run it without a shirt. I can't do that, dude. I, I just not these not are that real kind things, folks. Not with that kind. Of anyway, Chicago pizza. <laughs> I had way too much of it. I love it. To me, it. it is the best pizza. Really? I, yeah, I lived on the East Coast. I've been to New York a billion times. Mm. Great, great stuff, but, uh, like, Chicago is it for you. Way better in Chicago, okay. IMO, uh, okay. or Chicago Deep Dish. It's just, it's taste, it's, for me, it's tastier, and it's, it's more satisfying. I feel like I'm fuller, mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot, lot better stuff. It just feels like it's a different food to me. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's like you know it's like I mean? kind of silly uh -huh, to even uh -huh. put it in the same right. conversation. That's right? true. That's that kind of why, like, I would say I think I might like New York better as pizza, but as the Chicago pie, like that is uh, like it. Don't get me wrong; it was amazing. So, well, I mean, me being a Midwest guy, yeah, initially, yeah, I'm a hundred percent all about like a. I'm an emos guy, and a lot of people don't like emos, and a lot of people don't even know what that is, but it's just basically a square, like that big. Shout out to Chris Sig. He really dislikes it. But anyways, um, I just recently had New York piece. I was actually had it with a uh, Rip for the first time. We okay. were there for the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Nintendo thing, and we went and we got pizza, and it was really good. But I'm kind of biased, because I really like the Ninja Turtles, and I see the way they love it, and then I gotta love it too. So, yeah. But no, it's really good. I and, went. I went with 
Justin Wong. And this is when we went to that uh, 25th anniversary thing in New York. Okay, okay. And we went to his favorite pizza place. And I was like, Justin, I've never been here. And I want to try your New York pizza. I've had it before, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, I want to try yours. You know what, what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's uh-huh. the thing? Uh-huh. And he got me this pizza that had no sauce, and it was spinach, and it was, like, Alfredo sauce on the top. And I was like, what are you doing, man? Nah, I'm sorry. It was okay. I ate it, and I didn't hate it, but, like... That's a stretch. Come on. I don't know. Look, I mean, he also took us to his favorite Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Right? And, like, like him and Flo and Ricky were just like, this is the greatest Chinese Yeah. Oh, my God, this is so good. And you were, and, like, you were me, like... Me and Sherry were like... Oh, it was butt cheeks? Like, like, it wasn't terrible, right? But it was it like... It wasn't like... I, it wasn't life-changing. Yeah. I've had better at Monterey Park, right? Sure. So, you wow. Know, sure. I don't know. It did have those crunchy noodles that I had never had before, and so better, that was cool for me, uh, but... Uh, no, but it that, that stuff exists. No, I, yeah, I know. I know it's a thing. Have you guys ever had a hot sauce pizza? Yeah. I love those. I like that. I hot love those pizza. A hot sauce but, pizza. But what about pineapple? <laughs> no, we're not almost head butter. We're not gonna get into that. I legit almost head butter to my So I had so much pizza and I've been traveling so much and eating so much crap that now I have acid reflux again for the first time since I lost weight in like twenty two thousand nine maybe. I lost like twenty pounds and it it went away. I had, I had been taking medication for it for like a decade. It runs in my family, but I lost weight and I was all good. And now thanks to pizza. And traveling too much and getting a bunch of crap, it's back. So that's the hardest part. That's what that's what me eating, you dude, know, tur- veggie wraps is all dude, about. Now. Tournament life is there's nothing like you can do. Like, there's really not. Like I legit have to sometimes. Like I do like workouts in my hotel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they uh, have like a, a place to go, but no matter what, no matter how much you work out, there's not gonna be a Whole Foods right down the street. Like right. you're screwed. Like even if I say I only want to drink, like I'm only drinking water. Like it's I actually happen. super respect all the guys who go to those tournaments and hit the gym. Yeah, it's like, hard. Like in the dude. day, yeah. you know. Like I see guys do that, and I'm just like, no wonder you look like that, Rico. You know? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Man, uh, this dude Rico tried to push up on me at combo breaker. Man, you know I had to push that little dude off. He was like, "Yeah, you're stronger than you look." I was like, "I know. Get off of me." Is that a real conversation? That, that was, was a real conversation. I swear to God, it happened. Okay, okay. I mean, I ain't saying you know Rico a little guy because he's not. He's not. But he ain't about to push up on me like I'm just that guy. Like I'm, just, I'm like I'm just you know just some <laughs> little dude. It's not gonna happen, bruh. You got you got these guys. Look at these guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You've got the Captain America. Oh, Look at that. The, the Captain America. Oh, you flatter me. Anyway. Anyway. All this took true. place in Chicago. Sugar and pasta, Filipino style. Yes, that's how I make my own homemade spaghetti. Really? You do that, and yes, Justin, I can confirm. I love In and Out fries. To me, they're the best major fast food fries. Sometimes I go to In and Out just to get the fries. Are you serious? I am totally serious. Come on, David, man. But Come Justin, on, man. why did you give me like some spinach moon pizza in New York? <laughs> I, I, I like what how like someone must have sent the bat signal to Justin. I know he, he ain't never in this. Chat I know you've never been here before, man. Come Somebody on. Somebody made David's what? pizza and what? they just <laughs> got some grass off. We're gonna there talk go. smack <laughs> about Justin every week now, so he can like bring viewers in, dude. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. I don't know, Justin, man. You looking bad when it comes to recommendations. <laughs> Food, man. Moon pizza, bro. No, oh, I will tell no. you this though. No, I will tell you this though. Every time I go with Justin to a restaurant, and whatever he orders always seems to be better than what I ordered. Like he just seems to know what to order at a restaurant. The only person, well. the only person that has a clean slate with me when it comes to food is the Hado. This dude is legit. Took me places, and he's like, "Yo, Steve, I got you covered. This is what you want to order." And I'm like, "Okay." And every time. He's been spot on. Okay. Nobody else. Not crappy Chris Seg and his NorCal food taste. I don't know what happened to his tongue in the transition of life to being an adult, but it's destroyed. You need to throw your tongue away and buy a new one. Yo, it's, man, it's, it's, the, it's the lemonade problem, right? It's what happened to his voice. <laughs> Drank too much lemonade yeah, and it, uh-huh. it not only burned through his, uh, his trachea, it destroyed but it, his yeah. taste buds. Yeah. It burned well, his I mean, taste look, buds. Chris Segley has questionable taste. We'll say that this much, This is true. Right? This is true. I will say this, though. I got recommended a, a Chinese restaurant by Mr. Jabaley. Ah. And so me, Justin, Marn, Cherry, and CEO, we all went to this restaurant because he's like, it's the best Asian food. We looked at the menu. Everything looked amazing. Like some of us ordered two things just so we could try everything and really? stuff like that. It was ass. Oh, really? It Damn. It was one of the worst Chinese restaurants I had Dang. ever been to. So 
I will give Jabali that maybe he knows like a tapas restaurant or something like that, but I'm never trusting that man's Asian recommendations ever again. That's right. We went to a tapas restaurant with him and it was pretty good. Yeah, that place was really that place good. Was good. Damn, but, dude. But the Asian restaurant, I will never trust his Asian recommendations ever again. So wait, who do you guys trust? For Asian food recommendations? Yeah, for Asian food. For Asian food? Um, that's a good question. That's a really tough one. I mean, or, like, who's, who, who's, who's better to judge Chinese food than a guy from China and a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> well, what? You know, there's a connection between there is Jews really, and yeah, Chinese uh-huh. food. Okay. There is. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Oh, you don't know about this? I don't know about oh, this. Yeah, Educate no, that's a real thing. Well, the, also to Italian food, too, there's a connection to Chinese Is this food. going to be off topic? Oh, you're I feel, right, actually, yeah. yeah. I feel like we should get back on topic. Okay. I feel like this is just, <laughs> then we were going way too far. I'm so, I, that was my fault. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, 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 okay. We're yeah, back. Combo Breaker Pizza. Okay, Combo Breaker. Big event. Huge event. Oh, awesome. Wait, wait. Before, before we get into it, hands down, the best fighting game event I have ever been to. Changed my life. I'm not joking. I will, I'll put a, whatever you need me to say, but I'm telling you right now, as far as the way that tournament was ran, the schedule, the casual stations, the way to get in, don't get me wrong, it might have been a little longer wait time if you were trying to get there, but that's because everybody wanted to get in, you know? Yeah. But to me, the best tournament I've ever done. Yeah, I, I've actually heard that sentiment from, like, I saw that on Twitter from, like, everybody, from, like, I, I go to lots of small tournaments to like Filipino champ. You dude, know I mean? it was like, a, it was a guy who brought his children. Mm-hmm. Like this dude. Okay, so this dude had to be like forty to five to fifty years old. Okay, easy. And he had two little kids with him. And he said, "Oh, I made that sound so old, Steve." I mean, forty five to fifty. Forty five to fifty. Continue your story. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. So it's okay. he's forty five to fifty, but he doesn't play video games. That's what keeps you young. Okay. I'm just saying, dude. Oh, anyway. Anyway. So he bought his uh, nephew, and he said, "Hey," and he told me this little short story. I apologize, I can't remember names. He's like, "Hey, like my nephew actually plays. I brought him, but I bought my grandsons as well, and they play too." And he said, "Hey, can we get a picture?" Took a picture, and I was like, "Hey, what do you guys want to play?" He's like, "Hey, we really want to play Street Fighter, but we want to play with all the other people because we want to see how good we are." And he said, "Hey, this is our first major event." Cool. And. Like, it's amazing. He's like, everybody's been, like, really nice to us. Yeah. And the whole, he's like, there's plenty of places to play. There's plenty of things to buy. And, and just the spectacle. Like, this is something I want to come to. It's not an event where you go and just like, oh, man, there's a bunch of nerds in here. I'm out of here. You know, it was legit. He said he walked in. He said, I was just going to drop them off. He's like, but now I want to hang around. And I'm like, That's wow. So cool. That's cool. That's crazy. So, cool. yeah. so, like, in all honesty, like, to me, when I know I'm going to enjoy myself at a tournament. Yeah, I know what of, brings me to a tournament. Of course. Uh-huh. But when I get, mo- and that's only one of like maybe four or five people. It wasn't yeah. a crazy amount, but it was like four or five people that legit have been like, man, I've never even been to a tournament before. And the fact that I'm here at this tournament and I want to go to other tournaments. Yeah. Man, I, it's a guy, shout outs to Sir Mikey Rocks, right? Now this guy, this is a music guy. This guy was introduced to me by Lupe. Lupe was like, hey, this, he's like, what are you doing here? And he was just like, oh, man, like, this is the only thing I really get to go to, but I play Smash. And I was like, yo, word, you play Smash? And this guy is, like, part of the cool kids, half of the cool kids. And I'm like, what? And then I'm sitting there talking to this guy about, like, anime and video games. And I'm like, dude, Jabali, I said, hey, you should check out CEO. He's like, yeah, I only play Smash. I was like, you should definitely check out CEO. There are Smash-specific events, but you probably want to check out CEO. And he was like, you know what? I think I just might. So, like, the thing is about it is, like, the Hado has set a standard, and I said this on Twitter as well. Every other tournament is on notice. If I go to your tournament, like, you better be doing your damnedest because Rick has definitely set, he set the bar so high right now, and I, I just think it's crazy. One of the things that I actually said was um, I every tournament I go to, I run into people all the time that are like, this is my first tournament. This is actually the first time I come here. And I'm always like, hey, are you enjoying it? And blah, 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 all this stuff. Like, I mean, honestly, not to put anyone on blast or anything, but like people who came up to me at Cobble Break, they're like, dude, I enjoy this event so much. And I'm like, okay, look, full disclosure here, okay. <laughs> not all events are like this. <laughs> okay, like, yes, you do want to go to more events, but... This is like one of the high bars, yeah. right? So I, I basically said Combo Breaker, CEO, Evo. Like those are the three yeah. events that you that, yeah, that that's usually right. deliver the goods, right? right? So those are the main ones. But like, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I actually felt like I had to give that caveat. To well, and, and, and I feel like that's a bad thing about it. But before we, oh, yeah, yeah, that is a terrible thing. Yeah, before we even get into it, David, what are your thoughts? Well, how do you? How did you feel? I had a really good time. Um, I, you know, I spent less time there than you because I had family stuff in the area to do instead. Um, so I, I only had like eight hours of commentary in total. Like I didn't, I wasn't there that much. Uh, I had to go to sleep early at night, a couple of nights, just because I had, you know, family stuff and stuff. Um, but it was still awesome. Like I loved the, uh, I loved the venue. Awesome venue. Oh my god, that uh, was ridiculous. Huge and very spacious. And even though it was packed, it didn't feel like it was crowded. Uh, I liked the staging. That was all awesome. Uh, that everything ran great. The commentary schedule was super cool, and I really had a good time commentating the games that I was. Uh, right. I didn't to get to commentate with you guys, but it's whatever. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll get it. We'll get there. Yeah, for sure. So. Um, but that was all awesome. The games were awesome. I really liked that games like uh, Vampire Savior and Skullgirls had time on the big stage. Dude, Skullgirls was third to last, dude. I mean, that's, like, that's just that's it's awesome. Cool. Like I was, super, uh, they were super hyped. Dude. They were super they hyped. They were hyped. Dude. Super hyped. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That that scene was was really awesome. All these things were great, and like there was a little room up at the top that was the staff room where they had food and stuff for the staff who were breaks, working there. Go get breaks, water, whole nine. Yeah, and like they they paid for, they paid the staff a little bit, mm -hmm. which is great. Most tournaments don't do that. Like, the, everything was, to me, it was just great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never been to a combo breaker. I've never Mine been to a UFGT. Yeah. And, um, I mean, it was pretty much every what everyone said. And my favorite thing about Combo Breaker, I'm just going to say this, that this does not happen at most fighting game tournaments. And this is my favorite thing about it, is that when you go to Combo Breaker, you actually have a very, very good ability to actually play fighting games. Oh, yeah. So the yes. fact that they had 24-hour casual Amazing. stations for every game is huge. It's huge, 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 huge. You Amazing. can actually go and play Dude. You know what I mean? You 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 play and and they never use a station for more than one game. So if it was Mortal Kombat, and they weren't running Mortal Kombat like on Friday or something like that, it was casual Mortal Kombat. It wasn't let's use these machines for yeah. something else. It was this is the Mortal Kombat yeah. station. So if it's not tournament, you're playing casual. And to me, that was one of the coolest things yep. about it. And that that was by far my favorite. Like, if I had to name my number one feature of Combo Breaker, okay. that's it right there. Dude, they had a casual station for Tekken Ball. <laughs> that's so Tekken awesome. Tekken Ball had that's a casual so station. That's so awesome, dude. They had oh, a hyper fighting God. machine, you know, they just had a Then they had the arcades. free play arcade outside yeah. come before you got into the venue. So even yeah. if you weren't crazy into the games competitively, mm -hmm. they had, like, every game you wanted to play out in the hallway. They weren't in the best condition, dude, mind I you. I was playing But Robocop. they were there. I was playing the arcade Robocop game. Drop it. That was hard. Drop it. That, that game, game was forever. ridiculous. I remember it being hard. That game was basically you never gained your life back. So yeah, that game was like really It hard. was stupid. It was like one of those... It was during the era where they started trying to make games as unfair as possible. Uh, to eat your <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, like the event, it was this great combination of very community-driven things like this casual station are part of it, but the, a lot of stuff was very felt very community-driven. And Super Esports presentation at the, at the front because those there were five stages showing different games and they were all awesome and the main stage was awesome and they had a bunch of streams and the production was there there were replays on each of the streams right, like right. it just everything was there they man. had five awesome. separate stages and for each game so they had like if you walked in this way mm -hmm. they had Marvel to your left Tekken to your right vendors in front of that casual stations. Then it was the actual tournament stations. Mm -hmm. And against the far wall, they had the giant Titantron TV. And to the left and right, they had small ones. Mm -hmm. To the left, it was Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. To the right, it was numerous games. Mm -hmm. So they had like the semi stage, yeah, like which was yeah. genius. Like yeah. it was so good. So even when the time came on Sunday, when everybody sat there in front, like everybody was looking at that focal point. And, and you didn't have to worry about people moving. You didn't have to worry about a lot going on. It was. I also really do like the decision that he put the commentators in the crowd for the main game. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a nice touch. It was for all the games. It was for all the games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I mean, 
because some of the commentators were behind the curtains, remember? Yeah. yeah, but that commentary was also in front. It was people could hear it. I don't mean the audio. Oh, oh I mean, was me. literally no, the guys the crowd. doing oh, in like, the crowd. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. like wrestling style. So when you showed the the, 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 the commentators, commentators you can the see the people behind it. Oh, my God. Cool. Yeah, so I, I did like that. Agreed. Too. Agreed. Like that. Um, uh, another thing is, uh, I know that was, to me, that was really good. But apparently a couple of players said they could still hear the commentators. <laughs> yeah. Which, and, and some people don't like headphones. Like, like and like Filipino uh, man does not like headphones. Right, and he right, said right, that. Right. Cause he wants to hear the crowds, but even more so, like that. Once again, that they were reacting to some of the things. No, that the dude. My said. favorite thing was that Justin literally told me like he would hear what we were saying, and he would do the opposite or like do stuff to like throw the opponent off base. That's we crazy, saying. Justin. If you were doing that, man, I don't believe it. I don't believe that for a <laughs> second. You're good, and you are damn good. But. I'm just doing it to throw them off. You don't know if they heard what you were saying. You don't even know if they heard the other commentators. Hey, get, yo, get some reactions, too. Come on. You're yeah, just, dude, man, they show me those everything. videos. You need to get some better reactions, yeah, Mr. You're just, you're just Justin guessing. Wong. <laughs> Come on, dude. Anyways. All right, well, great tournament, great experience. You want to talk about some of the games? Yeah, let's talk about the results. Let's just Let's get to the results really fast. All right, because everyone can't knows spend the results. On this. Yeah. Everyone knows the results, so yeah, you're probably right. Let's just do top five. Well, we could do top let's, eight. But let's top just, eight. Let's just say the one small things that we want to say about the game. Sure, you got it. Top eight: Street Fighter Five. Seventh places: Circa LPN. Alex YP Filipino Man Chun Li. Fifth places: EG Ricky Chun Li. Fifth also Wolf Crown Laura. Fourth was Liquid Knuckle Dew with Nash Mika and Guile. Third PG F Champ Dalsum. Second Flash with Vega. Winner. E.G. Justin Wong with Cameron. Two sentences. What do you want to say about it? Um, I want to say look at look at the level of play that was here. Um, for this to be not a premier event does not make sense. Agreed. Because okay. it's too good. Okay. That, okay. Well, that sorry, was sorry. one and a half sentences. Sorry. Uh, but... the grand finals are starting to become monotonous because you know Justin's going to win. <laughs> everything else is fantastic. I was really impressed by Wolfram because I hadn't seen him do this well in a tournament yet and he was... Top, top notch. He had some really good stuff in there. And uh, shout out to Alex and, and uh, Dawson doing as well as they did. Dawson was like, there are three Dawsons in the top nine. Yeah. Really happy to see uh, Vega doing really well. Character that a lot of people are like, oh, he's not so, but Flash Metroid, scientist of all scientists. Yeah. He was doing things with Vega that I hadn't seen anyone else do. And then, um, yeah, who can stop Justin at this point? I mean, I, I, I literally, so Bizarro Mike interviewed me and wanted my opinion on, about Justin, and I said for every tournament, like in Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 up to this point, if you ask me if I wanted to bet on one player or the field, I almost always took the field. But Agreed. I said mm -hmm. for Combo Breaker, I would have taken Justin. Mm -hmm. I would have mm -hmm. bet on Justin over the field. Mm -hmm. That's how dominant he is at this point. Agreed. Okay. Uh, Flash, happy to see him doing well again. That's really cool. Yes. Ultimate Marvel 3 Top 8. 7th place is PG Rayray with Magneto Doom Sentinel and Neo with Magneto Doom Phoenix. 5th place is Jabril with the same team as Flux, who also got 5th, Zero Virgil Dante. 4th, EG Justin Wong with Virgil Storm Akuma, etc. 3rd was NB Duel Kevin with Deadpool Dante Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, it was a cool top 3. 2nd place was RF7 Ryan LV with Chun Li Morgan Phoenix. Winner, UA Terry Bogard, Morgan Dante, and Strider. I didn't watch that live, but I have. I did catch it later on BG Callisto's YouTube channel, and uh, it was a really good top three. Yeah, very yeah. interesting characters. Really cool place that game has gotten to. I really, I really like. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of you two said it. It was just the fact that like, the game is now kind of uh, narrowed out to the point where you, you're used to seeing these these characters and these players. That every so often, when you get those guys, th those notable guys that get in there with their very unique teams, yeah. mm -hmm. it mixes it up in such a unique fashion. It makes it look so much cooler to me, anyway. Right. I really like that. And um, winners finals was a Chun Li team versus a Deadpool team. Oh my god! That's all you have. That's all you need to say about this event. Dude, and, very interesting. And also, if you wanted more expanded opinions on how we felt about the tournament, you should have watched our after show. Oh, that's true. They kind of got the whole package. Yo, Leo, though, you got, like, a deal, bro. Because, like, we gave you a pre-show, we gave you commentary, and then you got an after show. That's, that's, right. that's, that's like, right. some ESPN that's, game finals kind of. It's UCTV, man. Huh? UCTV, the best the business can buy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, I wanted to mention for Marvel commentary, 
that I really, 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 really love Persia's commentary. Yes. She's so good at commentary. Yes. Yeah, she, she, she can hold up anybody on commentary. I know, I'm telling right? you, man. Yeah. And shout outs to all of them. Shout outs to Persia. Special shout outs. Because she was giving out Marvel quizzes today on her Twitter. That's and crazy. I didn't want to participate because, you know, I got that knowledge. Oh, yeah, of course. Of but course. the fact that she did that. Girl, you go in places. Purge is the best. Purge is yeah. the best. Yeah. Okay, next game. Mortal Kombat X. Seventh place is CR Wound Cowboy with Shinnok, Imposter, and I think some Bone Shaper. Seventh place also EVB, Big D, Mystic Ermac. Fifth place is Perfect Legend with Ninjutsu Scorpion, Buzzsaw Kung Lao, Tempest Kung Lao, and A-list Johnny Cage. Fifth place also CR Dragon with Tarkat and Alien. Fourth was CR Sonic Fox with... Brawler, Cassie Cage, Gunslinger, Aaron it took Black, him a while Acidic to get that Alien, out. I know. Sonic Fox, Jackie fourth Briggs, place. Spec Ops, Cassie Cage. Nice work. Third place, Noble Red Raptor with Shirai Ryu Takeda and Marksman, Aaron Black. Second place, Orbit, MTL, Hayate with Ronin Takeda. Winner, PXP, a Foxy Grandpa, Piercing Melina. Yeah. Yo, Mortal Kombat was kind of hype. Just saying. It was awesome. I really, yeah. I really had a blast with it. Uh, even the alien year between... Dragon and uh, teammate Sonic Fox was hype, I thought. <laughs> so uh, that was really cool. Awesome to see Perfect Legend doing well again. That's very cool. He shout qualified. Outs to, he qualified. Shout outs to he Perfect Legend qualify. for qualifying. Mm -hmm. Offline. I think that's dope. The fact that it happened offline. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm just like, yeah. That feels kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, Big D's first top eight. That's really great for him. Sonic Fox got fourth place yeah. in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. That hasn't happened this year. At this or point did it time, happen last year? I think it happened once. Okay. Well, at this point in time, I mean, it seems like it's pretty much uh, a consensus now that Foxy Grandpa is probably the best oh, yeah. player. His footsies are amazing. Right. And when he takes risks, which is not often, amazing. Uh, but really cool to see Hayate and Red Raptor get up there with Takeda's. Mm -hmm. Hayate seems like he might also be up there in the running for the best player right now. So. Also... Also, we talked about this. We touched on this on the uh, on the after show on BG Callisto's. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> sorry to blow you up, but when Slayer said something <laughs> to right. Perfect Legend <laughs> after he, Perfect Legend tweeted that it's his game, he said, "Well, only one of us has been top four at a major in this game." Dang. And he double jeopardy. Did he double jeopardy, or did he just knock him out? I know I he at he, least the Riota. Riota, yeah. Carl, yeah. Carl three o Slayer, Ooh. right? So. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, fantastic. Tekken Seven. Wow. Seventh place is Black uh, Blacklist Grand with Steve and GW Jackie Tran with Brian Devilgent. Fifth place is Shadow Twenties with uh, Kazuya and Heihachi. Fifth also Mateo with Fang. Fourth it's Magnificent with Fang and Jack Seven. Third was Reno Face with Claudio and Lucky Chloe. Second place Rip. Ha ha! It's hilarious with Law and Paul. This happened a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Winner. Circa Anakin with Jack Seven and Dragunov. He did it. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. That's right. But even more so, let me just say, okay. the, the Tekken Tour tournaments are getting a little ridiculous. Like, each tournament, like, it's like you, people see the results and they say something. They're like, and it's like these old school guys. They're like, huh, oh, it's Tekken Seven stuff, huh? Free day in the tournament. I might check it out. And then they show up, and it's these old guys doing some craziness. You know what I mean? And <laughs> it's like, and it is not the fact that, they, that they're old or anything like that. It's just the fact that they come out to play this game and that the competition bar is getting so, awesome. it's good. Really it's getting yeah, so yeah. high. So, like, I'm genuinely interested to see what happens with the rest of the tour, who gets these spots. Anakin has definitely given up his spot again for CEO. Okay. It's. I think it's smart. It's awesome. I think it's because you can win a lot more money this way this too. It's true. Right? And if you do can not do it, let this dude keep winning, I you, love Anakin and I want him to do good. But I want. I want that competition. I want to see I what happens. I also want when Anakin wins a tournament again for him to jump off the stage and go yippee! <laughs> Just because. Oh, oh God. You know why? Okay. Of course I, I know why. Cool. But um, also. Just a side thing about Tekken, like I talked to Justin, and he was like, Akuma has like 20 moves. And like that got me all of a sudden, I was like super excited. I, so 100% I'm starting with Akuma. Oh, me too, Smartest, of like that was such a good move on their part to make him play like a I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys, Tekken, se Tekken 7 is like the reintroduction. It's, it's so good, yeah. because it's so simple, and the system is legit, hey, you can do this. You try it for a second, and you know. 
it, it's good. It's, it's I'm really looking forward to it. Because then you, we, I can use a Street Fighter character and learn how to fight all the Tekken characters. That's genius. Yeah, no, it's super good. It's, you, dude, I'm telling you right now, it, it worked so, man. Harada, Namco, Manda, Michael Murray, you guys are godlike. Mark, man, you're doing an awesome job. Keep it up. But, like, if I really wish I got to play more, I really wish. I mean, I am there commentating because I am going to be at all these events. But yeah. I love commentating, and I just really want to play the game. Dude, commentating means you don't get to play. That's just yeah, the best yeah, that's of true. life. <laughs> it's true. All right. I just want to say the Faded Retribution auction tournament. Second place, Circa Anakin with Jack Seven. He paid seventy five dollars. Winner, Eris with Dragonov, who paid eighty five dollars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Eris good, won. Good stuff to How Eris. about that? Not washed up yet. <laughs> Dude, that auction tournament was sick too. <laughs> Skullgirl's second encore. Dude, so. they actually they actually said that uh, the Hadou gave them permission to do auction tournaments. Yeah. In, uh, other places. Oh, second. Yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. Seven places for Skullgirls, Wing Zero with Parasol Philia Squiggly and Ilda Taluda with Painwheel Fortune Cerebella. Fifth place, 159 Man with Squiggly Big Band. Japan. Japan. And, and Cloud with Valentine Philia Double. Fourth was Swift Fox Dash with Peacock Cerebella. Third, Liam with Parasol Double R Fortune. Second place, CR to Kill Sage with Beowulf Fukua Big Band and Cerebella Double. Winner, CR Sonic Fox with Philia Double Fukua. Now that washed up fourth place Sonic Fox. God, he's so terrible at playing. Also a screw up. Give it up, dude. What are you, like 18 and a half or something? Time to go get a job. Yep. Time to go get I a mean, job. I mean, I talked to him. He actually said he has not been playing much Mortal Kombat yeah, that's at true. all. Right? He's actually been practicing a lot of Street Fighter V. Yeah, that's so, definitely worth that again. But yeah. Yeah, uh, side note, side note, I just got updated, right? Okay. So, well, one Red Raptor is from St. Louis. Yes. Oh, St. Louis, you know what it is. He played with my boy Slips. And uh, Jackie Tran, I don't know how I forgot this, but he did win EVO for Tekken 4 in 2K3. So, okay. and he was at this tournament. Yeah. And we have, like I said, we don't really get much time to see these guys. So, I'm just happy that, That's really cool, that man. it actually happened. Shout outs to Sheraton Tal and AJ. He's the one who let me know about that. So, uh, It was awesome to see Skullgirls up there. I know this was basically Evo for Skullgirls. Yeah. The community I really came out. I want, to, I want to watch the art. Yeah, I mean, I was commentating during part of it, but uh, uh -huh. but yeah, it was it was really great to see. And I watched the whole ten v ten East Coast versus oh, cool. the world, oh, man. which was awesome. And even if you guys don't follow Skullgirls closely, like Give it a try. you should really check it out because it's an awesome. It's like a it's like it's written. It's like such a good story. Was that was this it. all on Team Spooky, right? That so was Team Spooky. So you can yeah. find it on Team Spooky's channel on YouTube right now. Yep. Okay. But, well, certainly at least on. On Twitch, I don't know if they put it up. Oh, I see. You just went to the archives. Okay. No, I mean, I watched that live. Oh, the, the that one live. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Guilty Gear, Exerd, Revelator. Seven places, T uh, Texerd, Faulty Defense with Sin Kisuke and Fu with Leo Whitefang, Potemkin. Fifth was Black Snake Venom and Bears with Chip Zanif. Fourth was FF Elven Shadow, Faust. Third, Kid Viper, Johnny. Second place, PG Marlin Pie with Zotto. Winner, PAG Lost Soul. Elfelt. Dude, that guy is crazy. But like, you know what? I he's mean, so good. Let's see what happens once Kid Viper really figures out Dude, shout outs, shout outs to those players in Texas that come out. Yeah. Kid Viper and Textured Faulty Defense. So I actually got to play, sit down and play a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Man, I like the fact that they travel. I like the fact that they make sure that they rep. You know what I mean? I, I really liked it. I like the fact that people are traveling for gear. Because you guys know that's my jam. Of course. So I'm really happy that they travel for it. And gear was really, really, really hype. It was I'm sure really there was hype. another tech display that you also wished well. You know, yeah, you I mean, out there, you know. maybe. Hey. But you might not be good enough. Everybody in Texas is not good enough to travel and play true. games that's at true. that level. That's I'm true. just saying. That's true. No, because, I mean, honestly, though, Johnny is the character that is about conversions, right? It's Once true. you start figuring out how to play Johnny, every time, because that's what happens when I watch Karinshu, right? Like, as soon as he touches you, you, you die. And that's just going to take experience. So once Kid Viper gets to that point, I'm, I'm what was, scared. Did you guys not see that clip? Oh, I saw, like, three clips that came up from Kid One Viper. One hit Johnny. kill. Yeah. On Hotashi. On Hotashi. I'm sorry, Hotashi. I'll put you on blast no, he, while I was there. And then I'm doing block, it again. He got him to block three towards H's in a row, and then he got hit by one. You know, so his guard that. bar had built all the way up, so it was like counter right. hit, counter hit, counter right. hit. Boom, one boom, 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 boom. Dizzy. Dead. Then dead. Dang. That was it. He was dead, so. That's awesome. So good. So good. Okay, all right, all right. KOF 2K2 UM. Uh, fourth was Sam W with K-Benny Maru, Shang Fei, and K-Dash 
uh, Andy Benimiru, Andy Benimiru Classic Robert, and Andy Benimiru Changfei. Third, Desmond KOF with Hinako Kusanagi Kasumi. Uh, Hinako King Kasumi and King Kusanagi Kasumi. Second, Flanagan with Ryo Kasumi Clark, Ramon Kasumi Clark, Kasumi Nameless Clark, K Kasumi Clark. For, uh, winner, Mario E. Seth, Classic Takuma, Chris. Chris Orochi Yashiro Classic Takuma. That took so long for, <laughs> yes. for four people. That's true. That's why I was like, yo, you gonna read all these names? I didn't think Got it was it. like that, but all right. Uh, Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasma, Extend, Top 4, D.O.T. Danka with Kagura. Third, The Beautiful Dude, Relius. Second place, uh, 13 Blades? I don't remember. X3 Blades? Jin, D-Link, Lord Knight won the whole thing with Valk. Under Knight, Inbirth, EXE Late. Fourth, Mike Loafers, Hyde. Third, R.L. Batista. Second, J.D.R. Hyde. First, C.R. Sonic Fox with Carmine. That guy's washed up, dude. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Smash Bros. Wii U, fourth, PG MVD with Diddy. Third, GGA JJ Rockets, Diddy. Second, E2C Tyroy with Bayonetta Sheik. And winner, PG Sam Pikachu. Persona 4, NF Up 1, Marie with, uh, was fourth place. Third was Corn Axis with Ken. Second place, D Link Lord Knight, Margaret. Winner, SQ with GA. KOF 14 Exhibition. Mm hmm. Tied for third, Berserk, with Athena Dinosaur, King of Dinosaurs, excuse of me, dinosaurs. that's what SRK you says, see, Dinosaur, see, but it's King of Dinosaurs. You've seen that one uh, tier ranking for KOF 14, no. right? It's like the best thing, it's basically the two, it's one of those Madman Cafe ones, and basically the ranking is, one is your level of dinosaur, and the other one's the level of king, and so King of Dinosaurs is at the top corner, King is actually over here, but she's not a dinosaur, everybody else was at the bottom, I just thought that was That's very funny. Oh, that's very funny. Third place, Flanagan also was uh, Banderas, Clark, Leona, and Clark, Robert, Leona. Second place, UA, Terry Bogart, Rio, Terry, Kula. Winner, James Jr., Sylvie, Tongue, Andy, Sylvie, Andy, Terry, Sylvie, Andy, Yori. I'm so proud of my son. James Jr. Melee! Fourth was PG, Sam, Samus. Third, Dreffen, Sheik. Second, Kells, Fox, Sheik. Winner, Duck, Samus. Mm -hmm. Vampire Savior. Do you want me to do top eight because you did this? Sure. Yeah. Top eight. Seventh place is Chex Quest, QB, and FES Battle Cap, Gallon. Top eight. Yeah. I always get that mixed up. Uh, fifth place, SLMF Fuzzy Snugs, QB, and Apollo with Zabel, a.k.a. Lord Raptor. Lord Raptor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Zabel Zarek, a.k.a. Lord Raptor. Fourth was VMP Yeti Ghetto Slang with Sasquatch. Third was Mighty Mar Anacharis. Second place, Mr. Igloo Sasquatch. Winner, VNP, Aleris with Felicia. Yeah, shout-outs to Felicia. Yeah, shout-outs to Aleris. That was super awesome. And um, seriously, like, watching Mighty Mar in person, like, go get that far and do that well with an actress, like, it's just, it's like a sight to behold, man. I've like, known Mighty Mar for a really long time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. he's a yeah. Midwest guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I've known him for a while, and... He, he legit, he loves that game. Oh, he yeah, speaks the tell. gospel oh, of that dude. all the time. You can tell. I'm so impressed seeing somebody play with a character that doesn't have a regular throw. Doesn't have the push block. Doesn't have the push block. It doesn't have a guard over his it's, it's weird, but he, he's, it's great. It's really cool to see. Yeah, but um, I love that game so much. Super happy that I got all that time. That game needs to go 3 out of 5. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> game needs to go. But that, that game... One game, one set between two players can be shorter than like a round in Street Fighter Five. It Seriously. can be really fast. Seriously. Combo Breaker Mystery Tournament, fourth place, E.G. Justin Wong. Third, Mr. Igloo. Second, Husbando. Oh, Winner, Cal's. Nice. And Grand Finals was uh, Tournament Fighters, yes. TMNT. Mm -hmm. Which Justin was. Kind of a slot was, fest, yeah. but yeah. Justin was kind of Justin hurt about was that. Hurt. He was. just destroyed everything. Yeah, I'm sure he would have. I, I know, like, the New York guys played that a lot. Arturo Sanchez is supposedly godlike at that game. Really? Yeah, yeah, like, the New York scene really played that game. Yeah, wow. Apparently the SNES yeah. tournament fighters, the SNES one, like, Arturo is, yeah. like, undefeatable in that game. Like, during so, during the Dark Ages, when nothing new was coming out, those mm -hmm. those folks were playing a lot of stuff. Right. For sure. Tekken Ball! Dude! Fourth, Mateo with Paul. Third, Star Ocean's Ogre. Jeez. Second place, Josh Mitsu with Heihachi, Ogre, Jin. And winner, GW Jackie Tran with Paul. Dude, I just want to uh, repeat what Keith said in chat. Yeah. Is that Mighty Mar works QA at Iron Galaxy. Oh, I didn't know that. And he can test on two controllers at once, testing setups against himself without record and replay. 
I mean, he is a crazy genius, is what keeps Interesting. He's yeah. God like ridiculous. Dude. I used to test combos with my feet. Yeah, like, I did that too. But yeah, I used to do that. Yeah, but but at the same hands, time, yeah, uh, yo, Tekken Ball was nuts. <laughs> was nuts. Joshimitsu? Dude, I wanted Joshimitsu win so bad, but it is what it is. As long as that cheater Star Oceans didn't win. <laughs> Dang. But Joshimitsu also used the Ogre. Yeah, that was only in the mirror. He didn't switch after that. Sometimes you have to use evil to beat evil, man. Okay. okay. Warding off the evil spells, man. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta. No? Alright, whatever. Uh, Tekken Ball. Planet Air Attack? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that was Simon FPS. Belmont win. Yeah, oh, man. Okay, yeah, okay, trying okay. to take out the evil Dracula, I thought, right? I thought you were doing the Air Attack. Whatever, anyway. Oh, okay. um, Killer Instinct. Well, let's do oh, also hype. It was also it was super hype. It was sick. I didn't even yeah. know what was happening. Shout out to Pete Diamond. God, like yeah. Seven oh. places LCD Kim and Dayton J with Orchid Saberwolf. Shout out to Dayton J. Absolutely. Yeah. Very impressive. Fifth, Gnarly Feats with Orchid and Rico Suave with Tusk, Mira, and Shadow Jago. Did not go how well he wanted, mm-hmm. that's for sure. F3, uh, oh, yeah, F3 Hollywood Sleep. Fourth with Arbiter, Arya, Glacius, and Conra. <laughs> Third was PAG Pink Diamond with Maya. Second place, Nikki NS with Fulgore. And winner, BH Thompson with Jago. Mm-hmm. So, according to Sejam, <clears throat> those two players. First and second have been good for a long time, but just haven't won like their mm-hmm. offline major. Right. Uh, so this is kind of coming out for them. That's really cool to see. I mean, look, if, if you're some guy like Thompson, you've won a lot of online tournaments. Right. You're in your element. You start going to events. It's harder to win once you're in live events, but that's how you get over it is you keep going to events, and then you take the big one. And I will say this. Well, we won't touch on this during the community section, but I'm going to guess that that win is what got Nikki FS signed by Circa Gaming. Really? Yeah, so he just Seems got likely. signed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. Uh, just want to say, Rico lost to sleep in a blow-up 3-0. Really? Yeah, even though he was talking about how he was going to like totally destroy sleep, and like they had, they've had some words in the past. There's kind of blood, bad mm-hmm. blood there. Okay. And so I was hanging out. Yeah, I didn't know this either, but Rico, I was hanging out with Rico during the uh, tournament. Yeah, I was sitting right next to him, and... Uh, you know, before and after he played, and before he played, he was very confident, and afterward, he was like, I messed up, man. So we're going to have to call up. him narcolepsy uh, Rico Suave, because he can't beat sleep. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty James. good. <clears throat> All right, okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, I'll, sh- I'll shake hands nice. on that one. I'll shake hands on okay. that one. That was nice. That was nice. Well done. Well done. It really stacked a uh, tournament for this game. Though yeah. Basically, the whole top top sixteen was was legit players. That was a qualifying spot, though, however, right for the KI Cup thingy, right? Uh, that seems likely. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was definitely qualifying. KOF thirteen fourth Flanagan with Clark Karate XO XKO. Four uh, third was HDK LV Prinny with Karate Clark Kim. Second place Mario E with like five different teams. Then winner was KCO Pedro with Exiori Benny Maru and Karate. Ultra Street Fighter 4, fourth place, Octopus on Fire, Blanca, TP, Octopus on Fire, third place, 412, Diaphone, Legere, second place, Wolf Crone, Viper, Poison, winner, Liquid Knuckle Dude, Decapri, and Abel. Mm-hmm. I tried to do that without taking a breath. <laughs> DOA 5, last round, fourth, Rambro uh, with Mila, second, I mean third, Jinxed Forever with Jan Lee, second place was Pacnemius with Leifang Hayate, winner, CR, Sonic Fox, Christy, Rachel. <laughs> and then Brawlhalla. Right. Which was free and actually had the third most entrance. Mm-hmm. How about that? They had like some guys come from overseas or something. Or yeah, yeah, the winner. So fourth was Stevenator with Budvar or Bedvar. I don't, I don't remember how to do that. Uh, third was Twilight with Budvar and Asuri. Then second was Boomy with Koji, Sir Roland, Budvar, Bryn, Jala, and Ulgrim. Winner was BX3 Zeloxery with Ember. And yeah, he's from the UK. That's what I was told. Dude, is the U.S. the best in any game anymore? Yo, we didn't get first or second in an NRS game. Like, that. I don't know if that's ever... That actually might never have happened at a major in North America before. I just, that's, that is a real possibility. Right. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I guess it was only a matter of time. I guess so. U.K. and Canada. I mean, we don't even own Marvel anymore, dude. I mean... No? Yeah. Tough times in the old U.S. of A. <laughs> in the old U.S. of A. All right, that's it for results. Great okay. tournament. Cool, good stuff. Uh- um, 
There's a couple of other things that I wanted to bring up about Combo Breaker before we get to Japanawa results. Um, first of all, the good, right? Uh, Lupe Fiasco showed up. Yeah, oh yeah, we didn't even mention that. Super that cool. cool. Very, nice very, very cool. Um, you Didn't you like ride in his car or something? Dude, we, we legit hung out. I hung out with him, we had lunch, then we had dinner, then the next day we had dinner, and we just like talked about it, and he was legitimately interested in FGC. On top of that, like, during the finals day, he was right there. He wasn't sitting off to the side. He wasn't sitting in the back. He was in the front row. In the middle. In the middle of corn and everybody else. Yeah. He was talking smack with him. Yeah. He was getting hype with us. Like, we were doing Everything. money. I don't know if he was doing betting, but, like, everybody around him was. Nah, like, nah he, he wasn't was, betting. Yeah, he wasn't betting. But, I mean, uh, he, like, even, he, was, he was cool with that, man. Even, he was like, all doing top eight, that. apparently, like, he turned and, like, would say things to say jam and stuff like Because that, he yeah. hates Mika, and I was blown uh, up. I was like, he loves Mika, and he was like, he hates Mika. I'm like, look at him, he loves her. He was like, That's awesome. Um, and on top of that, um, I would like to say, I, I almost forgot, the people... Um, when he's there and he's like hanging out, he's legitimately th doing the same thing that you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. we, like we're there to work. Mm -hmm. He's there to like watch, um, maybe possibly yeah. getting on casuals, but he wants to learn. So him chilling out and just hanging was legitimately just him being there. He didn't announce that he was coming yeah. or anything like that. Wasn't like he showed up with his fight stick. Too. He just came, he came with his controller. Yeah, like uh, he was ready to play. And I, I and, think and that he, was dope. he didn't show up in time like to, to, to register. Enter. But it wasn't like you like I think you mentioned that he wasn't like oh you yeah. fiasco put me in the pool. yeah no no that's what he said he didn't yeah, he didn't yeah, announce uh, it he just yeah. he wanted yeah, to yeah. hang out uh, so like even if he does go to a future event or whatever the case may be just let him chill man like. Dude, Don't rush I, the guy. No, seriously, I, I, the one, I, when I talked to him, the, oh, I did the same thing that I did to everyone else. I asked, are you having fun? Yeah. And he said, yes. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you for showing up and supporting our scene. That was it's it. for the yeah, scene. I mean, you like, know, like, nice I guy. think that's sick. He's yeah. really cool. And and he nice. really wanted to meet you guys. Like, yeah, one of the first things he said, he was like, yo, is James and David back here? And that's why I brought him back there to, yeah. like, see, try to talk to him see, when he was it's working. It's funny because know? he's never really tweeted at me before or anything like that. So I was like, does he really know who we are and stuff like that? But he's a big fan of the scene. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's not like he's just, you know. Can I set, let me let me do a little sidetrack here. Okay. okay. Okay, so, you know, I want to show you a picture of something. Okay. I want to show you a picture of something. Okay, let me see if I can get this up on the stream as well. Uh, where we got here? Yeah, let me show you this picture over here, okay? Oh, oh, look at this. This is my Twitter Man, notification. James is being super weird right now. And he's being really weird. I took really a picture. Weird. You remember who said, remember what I said? Oh, my God. I was, God. Like, I was like, hey, maybe, maybe this person knows me. And you're like, he doesn't care. Well, well, hey, hey, look at this. Look Why at did this. you have that say? What a look nerd. Are you nerd? Look at this. Look at this, dude. There you go. There you go. You know he did that as a favor to me, right? You know, James can officially... I can die now, like I'm okay. Don't say it. <laughs> I was gonna, what I was going to say was that you can officially get rid of any links to Pornhub and the like. <laughs> that's going to do it for you forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy that you're happy. So, there you go. There you go. So it just rubs it in my face. It was a joke, James. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You made me cry, man. You made me cry. I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Lupe was very cool. I he was, was cool. glad he had a lot of fun there. I he really, really enjoyed glad. it. Uh, that was the most important thing. It wasn't important that he showed up. You know what I mean? It was more important that he had fun. Exactly. He was able to enjoy the fighting game community. He was definitely one of those people we talked about enjoying himself at the event yeah, and that yeah. being his first actual FGC event. So like I said, if he does come to an event, he might not come to a big event or whatever the case. And it's completely on him. I have no knowledge of that whatsoever. Huh. Let that dude hang out. <laughs> Just let him chill. All right. Cool. Anyways. All right. Uh, now there's the bat. From Combo oh, Breaker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. An incident that has kind of put a little bit of a stain on it. Um, it's unfortunate that we have to talk about it. Now, uh, look, the, everybody in the chat knows who we're talking about, but we have been given the request by parties involved to not name any names. Mm -hmm. But there was definitely on video an incident captured of uh, sexual assault. 
and uh, this has come up, and I know Rick is really frustrated by it because everyone keeps talking about that now instead of how yeah. great the event was and such. And um, look, this is not something that we can avoid talking about. Like stuff like this has happened, in particular with this person, stuff like this has happened in the past. And so this is not something that we should ignore. Like this is definitely something that needs to be brought up. It definitely needs something to be addressed. And um, at this point in time, um, if something like this, like I don't even want to say if something like this keeps happening because keeps happening is kind of already where it's at. You're right. Right? So at this point in time, I really do feel like the collective FGC needs to do something about this. Like I feel like someone, some, some stand has to be taken, you know, at this point in time. Um, one of, my thing is this, that no matter who's involved, um, it shouldn't outshine the event because the event was mm -hmm. great. Yes, yes, yes. Without that event, and it's still great with that event. It just mm -hmm. it the parties involved, whoever it may have offended. The fact that it even happened in general is is just is not acceptable. It's mm -hmm. not acceptable. Um, it makes not just the persons involved look bad, but it makes our scene look bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, granted, but like you said, it comes a point in time if it continues to happen. That something has to be done about it. Um, it does not matter who it is. Agreed. If it was me, I, w I would want to play like this. I put myself in that position, and I'm liable to get punished just like anybody else. Corrective measures have to be made, whether it be from myself or the parties involved or the people's organizations that it is. Mm -hmm. So whatever that may be, however that may fall out to those people involved, I suggest that, in all honesty, a little more tact be conducted in all parts of that. Like... It's just not cool. I wouldn't want anybody, friend, sister, brother, to be in that situation. And that's how I think about any situation. Yeah, same like if, if, at, if at any point I'm like, well, is this okay? You say, well, would my grandmother, aunt, mother, whatever the case, be okay with those things happening? Yeah. You just apply it to yourself. Not telling anybody how to live their lives, but that's how I conduct myself. If I feel right. like somebody I care for and love, or whatever the case, whether it be my niece or my dad, I want everybody to be comfortable. Right. That's it. If you yeah. can't follow those rules, maybe you shouldn't be there. No, I'm, I agree. So, I mean, the Hado is in the chat, and okay. he is talking about how they want to conduct their research and, you know, get to a conclusion and everything Okay, like that. yeah. But I mean, I you know, if the one involved wants anonymity, that's right. totally yeah. right. that's up to her. That's, that's know, up so. to her. So, um, look, in my opinion, because this is a repeated incident, um... If Rick wants to ban him from Combo Breaker, I think that's completely justified. Yeah. In fact, if any event wants to ban him, if Evo was like, you know what, you can't show up. If Capcom was like, you can't play in any of our premier events anymore because of thuggery, you know, or, or anything like that, you know, like, it's absolutely justified at this point in time. And so, honestly, like, if he does get banned from FTC events, I mean, I, that is a completely logical results of this whole entire thing so um in fact in all honesty it probably is the right thing to do yeah i was just gonna say it probably it probably should happen mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um it's too bad i consider the guy a friend and have for a long time right. so i'm like uh, extra disappointed right that it's not like some rando for me right. i know obviously for a lot of people at home it is and somebody who you think of as a jerk maybe but um very nice guy in a lot of situations and uh disappointed that you know you would do this mm -hmm. kind of thing mm -hmm. so but, like you were saying, just because he's somebody who we know, it doesn't mean that he should be, he should escape any consequences. Right, exactly, exactly. Um, it's like you said, if, if like you did something like that. If I that, did something like that. And even if you were like, if, this was a mistake, it was, you know, but if it was. Everybody has to be checked at some point in time. Yeah. I, I, if, if, like this, I want to be able to take the people, like the things that I love is not outside the realm of the people that I care about. So if I wanted my little brother or my little sister or my aunt or whatever the case to come i need to make sure they cool yeah man like last year my uh cousins came to combo breaker and my at great evo, aunt was right? there at and evo, one of your relatives was at evo wasn't wasn't she or mm, at evo. was it a friend of your a friend? oh a good friend of mine oh okay okay yeah, yeah okay um but yeah my girlfriend was at combo breaker and oh. you know I would hate for them to see that and think that that's what Combo Breaker was about. Right. Or that would even really have something like that happen to them. Especially. Right. But, yeah, yeah uh, that would really 
make me upset. So yeah. I know that is happening for somebody right now. Uh, and exactly, someone in the chat says, why would a girl want to attend if, the, if this is the news that keeps coming out? Exactly. About why would you? I don't know. I don't if I probably wouldn't if it, if it were me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to make it clear that this is not acceptable in the fighting game community or anywhere mm -hmm. uh, and that we have to you know actively try to put a stop to it not just say we need to change and so forth right. but to actively do things differently right. and that probably starts with the prohibition and again so. Keep in mind, I mean, the, the anonymity, because everybody knows who it is in chat and everything like that, but it's through the request of parties involved, the yeah. girl, right? So we don't want, we're respecting her yeah. wishes right now, so. For sure. It's, I mean, we've all but basically hinted at it already. So. Well, everybody knows who it is, yeah. you know? And, and on top of that, um, only because somebody say we esports now, don't matter, that don't matter. I don't. I wouldn't care where we were at. <laughs> I, yeah. We could be, yeah. What does that have to do with it? It, it has yeah. nothing to do with yeah. it. It's just yeah. the fact that, like I said, you can't go go around groping people. Come on, you just can't. You can't do that. It's not acceptable. It shouldn't ever have been. I understand that for jerks it was for a while, uh, but it's not. Get used to it. Change your ways. Right. If you don't, then you shouldn't be around. Yep. So, unfortunately, that did have to happen. That didn't mar the event anymore. But, you know, I do agree with a lot of people. Like, obviously, we don't want to sweep this under the rug, but this should not be the focus of Combo Breaker. No, no, Breaker. it doesn't, like I said. Combo Breaker was an amazing event. Let's not, like, let's not, like, sully its name or anything like that. Yeah, right. Let's no, hope look, this, this doesn't end up in a Kotaku article. Like <clears throat> well, that, look, it, like if, it, if it does, it shouldn't be about Combo Breaker. That's where it took place, but it could have happened yep. anywhere. And has happened at other places after all. So it's not like it's a... Obviously, Combo Breaker doesn't have anything to do with it. It was just where it, where it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want it to happen... I don't want it to happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. There or anywhere else. Yep. Uh, what kind of charges could you face? I'm not a criminal lawyer, so I'm not super well acquainted with that stuff. Um, I, don't, I don't know. And by the way, it's not up to individual people to press charges. It's up to... You know, if you want to, you can bring the authorities attention to something but mm -hmm. like it's not up okay. to like some individual to other than the district attorney or whatever right, to right. decide so mm -hmm. anyway um, yeah. yeah all right all right so uh do you want to take a quick break and when we come back we'll just get through events game news and i basically have no community news so um we'll just get through that real quick and then we'll be right back you got so, it okay <laughs> 